pretty pretty hyped decks coming into the new season, so I'm not really surprised to see them here. Yeah. Off of these six cards, Jonathan <clears throat> will likely be looking for a way to find another Belgium and maybe get a Lolan Vulpix out. A Lolan Vulpix with that beacon attack is just such a good way for these Metagross decks to get set up. It looks like he did find an Ultra Ball. We'll see which one he grabs here. Could be a Belgium, could be a Vulpix. Getting rid of two Metal Energy also very good for this Metagross deck. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Metagross's ability um, attaches a Metal or Psychic Energy from your discard to your active Pokemon. Uh, that's how it accelerates energy, so obviously you want to have... Uh, uh, an ample amount of those in the discard pile here, so pretty good opening to start from, from Jonathan. Yeah, just about all you could ask for, you know, I, I think a lot of these Stage 2 decks really were hurt by the loss of Bridget to the rotation. They really needed that card in order to get their setup going, but we see here on turn 1, it looks like Jonathan's going to be able to get two basics into play. Looks like he's favoring a build -em potentially right now. This is also his first deck search, so he's going to take his time and try to make sure he knows what is prized, what he has access to throughout this game. It looks like he will stop for another build up here. With that, I believe a conductive body ability gives it one less retreat for each Beldum in play. Yeah, Beldum is smart here, obviously. You know, you can put ball picks down any time, but with the Beldum now, that means he can evolve it uh, in the next turn. So he'll pass to Vinny. And over on Vinny's turn, going to be looking for Ultra Balls and Mysterious Treasures in order to get his NKs into play so those can become Malamars later on in the game. Also going to want to try to find a Lily probably on this first turn, the ideal first turn supporter. Acrobite to get things started. Also, got to respect Vinny's deck here. It looks like he's got just about everything uh, blinged out. That brand new gold Ultra Necrozma from the Dragon Majesty set. Uh, pretty, pretty cool stuff to see. Yeah, Vinny is definitely ready to ball here with these cards. So, um, yeah, you know, he's, he's going to kind of try and do the same thing as Jonathan. He's going to just get BK down. You know, obviously he'd like something like two of them. Discards an Ultra Necrozma, but um, doesn't really care about that. Just wants BKs. Yeah. It looks like he does have an Ultra Ball here in his hand, and I like the sequencing there of playing Acrobike before you use your Ultra Ball. See what you get off the Acrobike first. If you find an EK, then maybe you're...
his hand. Um, you know, Aranguru is great later on in the game, but he's already had to put two Tapu Leles in play, and this is a matchup where he needs the Delmai, so he might not ever have the luxury of being able to pinch the Aranguru. Yeah, in addition to that, um, Metagross requires three energy to attack, so the optimal setup is to have three Metagross, but um, you can do it with two, but it requires you to hard attach every turn. Uh, so he also maybe wants to think about getting another Metagross, or a Beldum into play at some point. Ooh, and it looks like he's going to get rid of that Delmise. He does play two copies of Rescue Stretcher, so maybe off of his algorithm this turn, he'll opt to find a... Um, he'll opt to find a rescue structure to get the Delmise back, so he can take a one-hit knockout, potentially. Does have rare candy, plus that Metagross he just got, so two Metagross in play. Pretty solid setup. Can attach, and can instruct for three, so we'll see what he gets off these three cards. So he attaches to the active, and now he's going to use double Geotech system. Um, and uh, mm, instead of an algorithm, it looks like we're just going to see a Giga Hammer swing for
setup from Jonathan. Only has one Lily down, or uh, Lele down as well, so um, much better turn one from Jonathan Crespo here in game two. He'll be able to use a Geotech system next turn even to attach to retreat the Delmise, so this is looking pretty good for Jonathan. We'll see what Vinny can do over here on his turn. His deck also really wants to use Lily on the first turn. Serious Treasure right away. We'll see if this grabs a Tapu Lele GX or potentially an Inke if he already has Supporter in his hand. Yeah, of course, Vinny. Um, kind of flexing on Jonathan a little bit. And got the gold Mysterious Treasure, gold Psychic Energy. I wonder if the Malamars he's using are the staff pre-release promos or just the regular pre-release promos. I mean, only the best for Vinny, so... <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Looks like he's eyeing up. I believe that is an ink case, so we'll just try to get another one of those down this turn. He knows his active ink case probably not in too much danger of getting him knocked out. Uh, next turn. I, mean, I guess an attach plus a psychic or a, a geotech system could mean that Delmise can actually knock out an Inke, um, but we'll see. I think Jonathan would want to value his setup more so than just taking the first prize in the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, takes that Inke. I, I do see another, I see a Lele in his hand. Um, I don't know if that's a supporter in there as well. Looks like a Cynthia, I think, in his hand, so maybe he's opting to, to Cynthia here. It looks like he's debating between Cynthia or using Lele for Lily. And this is, I think, a decision that we're going to see a lot of players have a hard time making the decision on. Um, oh, that actually he does alter, alter. That actually can help Jonathan a lot here. Yeah. Uh, letting that Delmise retreat and um, get an energy attachment somewhere else. I guess in some way, though, it does stick to the energy on the Delmise where you'd rather have it in the discard pile so you can use um, Juicex system. But you're not really attacking with Delmise too much in this matchup anyway. Yeah. So looks like he did opt to go for the Lily. You know, he did have, I, I believe, like you said, he had the Cynthia in his hand, but it's just going to go ahead and opt for the Lily. This sets him up with five cards off the top of his deck and gives him a supporter for the next turn. So I like this from Vinny, being able to leave himself with options next turn for sure. He has a lot of money in his hand, but I can't really tell what it is. Another ult he got an Ultra Ball here, that's good. Um, can get, I guess, probably uh, an Ultra Necrozma. Um, maybe attach that Psychic to it. And I guess he's going to discard that. Yeah, I think he definitely wants an Energy Attachment this turn, but looks like he's going to opt to discard the Psychic instead, maybe valuing the other cards in his hand a little more. And we'll see what he wants to get down. Looks like he's eyeing up that Ultra Necrozma. He has a, comes into play. I do see a Guzma in his hand, so, um, you know, I, I didn't see a Metal Energy, but, you know, maybe it's just hard to tell. So I guess he has a switching effect to get this NK out of there, but um, I don't know what else. I, yeah, I, I would have liked to see an Energy Attachment. Yeah. Um, he's got a Beast Ring. <laughs>
sending these beautiful psychic <laughs> energy. <laughs> Looks like he will go ahead and attach to the active and play a Cynthia here, shuffle his hand into his deck, draw himself six cards. And on the other end of this Cynthia, what do you think he's going to be looking for? What does he want the rest of this turn? Uh, probably, you know, for sure Malamar. Um, I think he wants another Ultra Necrozma um, so he can start using Malamar's ability um, and attach to that to the benched Ultra Necrozma so he has some sort of follow-up to this play. Mm -hmm. um, but we're looking and there's an Ultra Ball and a Mysterious Treasure. So this is pretty good. Um, he'll be able to get, you know, an Ultra Necrozma and a Malamar. It'll cost almost his whole hand. Um, but he does have a Lele, I think, so... Yeah, I think he also drew a couple of supporters there. Um, so he'll have the option to play a supporter next turn, still. Takes a Malamar. Go take a Malamar. Yeah. Yeah, that Full Art Lily is also worth way more than the <laughs> Sun and Moon base Full Art Lily. Um, so definitely, definitely as valuable as possible. Yeah, I'm almost certain those Malamars at this point are going to be the staff promos, right? <laughs> yeah. They look way cooler. Um, definitely a status symbol. <laughs> so we'll see. It looks like he's debating another card to play out of his hand. He did have an Ultra Ball in addition to the Mysterious Treasure, so we'll see if he does want to go with that. Looks like he's going to opt to hold it. He doesn't want to just get rid of his whole hand this turn, I think, which I can understand. Another thing is that uh, Vinny does have the Beast Ring as additional energy acceleration. Mm -hmm. So he can get an Ultra Necrozma to knock out a Metagross kind of out of nowhere um, on this next turn. Maybe he's hoping that Jonathan will knock out the Ultra Necrozma right now so that he can um, he can activate the Beast Ring. Um, he has not used Malmar's ability yet. I think I would I would Psychic Transfer to the Dawn Wings um, just so you have that free retreat option the rest of the game. Yeah, uh, it sort of just becomes a huge mobility for him the rest of the game. Uh, one of the things about this deck that I didn't like was that if it, it felt kind of hard to find a turn where you can get an energy on the Dawn Wings to utilize it for the whole game. Yeah. Um, but now, you know, this against a slower deck like Metagross, Vinny's able to utilize that. Could use Invasion here and maybe send something else to the active so he doesn't put this Ultra Necrozma in harm's way. He also could hit for 100 damage here. We'll see which one he wants to go with. Uh, he's eyeing it. He's kind of showing us. He could, like, bring up the Lele, uh, because he, I mean, he doesn't want to sacrifice an Inke, but then if you bring up the Lele, you're giving up two prizes. It, it just, it kind of feels bad, whatever he wants to do here. He does oh. retreat to the Lele. I mean, if you're going to give up, you, I think he wants to give up the Lele, because it does activate the B-string. Yeah, Um That's And it's, it's the least valuable GX on his board. Jonathan, of course, is fine to take the knockout on the Lele, you know, because it's, it's two prizes. Yeah, and we just see right away off that algorithm, able to get two Metagross GX in play and three Metagross now total on the board for Jonathan. He'll be able to have just full mobility of his field using Geotech systems, retreating between turns after using Giga Hammers. And if he can find a choice band here, he'll definitely be able to knock out Tapu Lele GX. And this is definitely Jonathan's ideal board. He does have the Delmise as well, and he has a Rangaroo for additional draw. So, um, you know, it's kind of kind of what he wants to knock out this turn. I do see a Guzman, but I don't think he has the energy, um, like maybe an Ultra Ball and energy to knock out something on the bench. Um, of course, he needs to get more energy in the discard um, if he wants to do that, but um, he can knock out this Lele this turn, I think. Yeah, should be able to, as long as he has a Choice Band there in his hand, which, oh no, it looks like he's he actually... Yeah, Guzma, the, the Malamar. This is interesting, and he's going to take a knockout with the Delmize. Um, this is pretty smart, actually, mm -hmm. from Jonathan. This does two things here for Jonathan. One, it, it's taking Vinny's energy acceleration out of play, but it's also going to play around that potential B-string from the next turn, like you were talking about, that Vinny could have pulled off. You know, he's only going to take one prize as opposed to two. Now Vinny's not going to be able to use B-string next turn, and it could be difficult for him to find the piece he needs to respond to this from, from Jonathan. Oh, he's opting to just retreat into the, the Metagross again. Okay. Um... Could have taken the knockout there with Delmize, but I think he wants to keep it in play because he wants to be able to knock out the Ultra Necrozma. Yeah. He does take the knockout here. So now, uh, Vinny will need another Malamar, an attachment of a Psychic Energy, and then the, the Malamar Psychic Transfer to knock out the Ultra Necrozma. So, you know, now that's an interesting play. If he had the Delmize in the active spot still, he would only give up one prize mm -hmm. with this play. Um, but then it also... Vinny needs less to get a knockout, I guess. But as 
Jonathan, I guess you probably don't really care as much. Uh, you, you definitely want to, you would rather preserve Delmize for sure. Right, and it's you have very rescue. easy to get Delmize back with rescue stretchers. Right. Metagross is much harder to set back up. Yeah. But I guess maybe he's, you know, Vinny's hand, Vinny hasn't really done much. He only has, well, he has five cards now, so I guess maybe Jonathan was hoping he doesn't have, like, a supporter play or something. But he did see Vinny discard a supporter last turn. So, you know, he has to have something there. He ultra balls, probably grabbing that Malamar. It looks like he's just going to go ahead and discard his other NK here. So he's only got one NK left in the deck, two in the discard pile, one in the active. So... Looks like he is going to eye the Malamar up, like you said, and I think the last card in his hand is a Cynthia. Oh no, Lele. Lele. This will be a Cynthia or a Lily. They'll do the same thing here. Yeah, since he has no cards in his hand, I think you definitely want to go for Lily over Cynthia because it's less likely that you can utilize Lily to its full effect later on in the game, but you can always utilize Cynthia to its full effect. But maybe he doesn't actually have any more Lilies in the deck. He's played one, discarded one, one could be prized. Yeah, in addition to that, uh, I think Full Art Cynthia is worth significantly more than Full Art <laughs> Lele. Kind of like going uh, Sycamore for seven here. Uh, just a little bit of a flex. No high five, but yeah, That's still right. solid. So uh, I don't see a psychic energy in his hand, I don't think. He has discarded a few, so it could be a little more difficult to find them at this point. Acrobite can dig, though. Let's see. Nothing I think he there. acrobiked into another acrobite, so he could keep digging here, potentially. It's actually kind of hard to tell, though. It could also be a B-string. Both of them are just gold and red and no other colors, so... Looks like he will discard a B-string. We take... We don't know. Yeah, getting a knockout on this Metagross would just be huge for Vinny at this point. Um, Jonathan would need an attachment from the hand in addition to the double recharge plus a choice band, so he needs a pretty decent sized card combo for the next turn. Looks like Stretcher here can get an NK back, so that's pretty good. He's going to get an NK, put it right on the bench. We could see him go for like a Hypnosis here on NK, uh, put the Metagross to sleep maybe. See if that could be something he goes for. Pretty interesting play. Uh, but no, looks like he's just going to go ahead and start powering up this Ultra Necrozma on the bench. Oh, he Ooh, does have a Psychic. He's I got didn't it. see that. Oh, this is big. Um, Jonathan was not expecting this. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't kill his setup or anything. But taking a Metagross out of play is huge for Vinny here. Yeah, and now, you know, even if Jonathan knocks out this Ultra Necrozma, uh, Vinny gets access to B-String still, mm -hmm. so he can power up the next Ultra Necrozma, um, you know, without a problem. I guess he did discard B-Strings. I don't know. This is uh, definitely not what Jonathan wanted to see um, after knocking out that Malamar. Yeah, that was a huge turn from Vinny for sure. We'll see what Jonathan can do over on his side. Has a Nest Ball in hand. Looks like a Rescue Stretcher as well. Going to just go ahead and shuffle back the Metagross line. Have access to that later on. Nest Ball brings the Beldum back down onto the bench. And, yeah, this turn he needs an attachment from hand, he's got the two Geotech systems, and he needs a Choice Band. So off these six cards, Energy Card, Choice Band, that's what Jonathan Crespo is going to be looking for here. And this turn, it kind of calls back to uh, opting to knock out that Malamar with the Metagross. Um, you know, Vinny would have needed less to knock out the Delmise, but he even had the Stretcher mm. to get it right back. So, you know, he does have Energy. I, I didn't see Choice Band. He does run three copies. He's retreating to Metagross, I assume he has it. Double Geotech, attachment, attachment and there the Choice Man. There nice. it is, perfect. Giga Hammer hits exactly 190, thanks to the Steelworker ability from Delmize. We'll take two prizes for Jonathan, and uh, Vinny could be in a tough spot here. Um, he might be in a spot where he needs to use uh, Dawnwing's Necrozma's GX attack, Moon's Eclipse GX. Does 180 damage. Metagross is resistant to Psychic. It's not going to get a knockout on Metagross or anything, but it does make the Dawn Wings immune to damage on the next turn. So maybe in addition, he could buy a turn. In addition, if he could find a Guzma, he could Guzma up the uh, Lele and use um, Moon's mm, Eclipse. Yeah. Take a pri take two prizes there, um, and then put Jonathan on an even faster clock. Um, see if he can see find us. He's got Mysterious Treasure, but he's already got two Lele's on the board. He does play three copies, though, so maybe that could find him the card. But no, he's actually going to discard the Mysterious Treasure. Keeps on digging with these Acrobikes. Looks like he has a Psychic Energy, and I think maybe an Ultra Ball. He Looks opts like to discard the Ultra Ball now. 
keeps the psychic energy. He already has a decent amount of psychics in the discard, so he can utilize psychic recharge. I guess I'm wondering what he's digging for. May have been looking for that Guzma you were talking about. He is behind on prizes, so he could utilize Moon, Moon's Eclipse GX. Yeah, we'll just see what else he wants to go with. Maybe he knows his other Lele's prize. That might be why he didn't keep the treasure, or he already had a treasure in his hand. So off of this, looks like he's going to set up another Ultra Necrozma. Serious treasure, uh, grab Psychic and Dragon-type Pokemon. Um, very powerful effect. A lot of times, you know, people just assume it only grabs Psychic because it usually just targets Lele, but it does grab Ultra Necrozma, um, which kind of, it makes the whole deck flow uh, really, really well. If Vinny could get a knockout have here. The beast ring. Oh, this is going to be a big turn here from Vinny. As long as the energies are in the deck that he needs, he can get a knockout. Needs one psychic energy and a metal energy. Looks like there's a metal from the hand, or from the deck. No psychic energy, though. So he wants to attach one psychic from hand at this point and then use the double psychic recharge. He does have a lot of psychics in the discard, but I, I think he has a psychic in hand. He's eyeing a card here. Um. Too shiny to tell. And uh, yeah, he can use those two Psychic Recharge, put two Psychic Energies on this Ultra Necrozma, and then use Invasion with the Dawnwings Necrozma, attach a Psychic from hand. This is huge here. This Vinny huge. has gotten his ideal set up basically both games, and uh, yeah, just kind of take a knockout on this Metagross. It's going to be pretty difficult for Jonathan to respond to this one. Yeah. Uh, what makes matters worse, um, Vinny just discarded... Probably over a hundred dollars <laughs> to the discard there. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's he can he can take another knockout here um, if he has another energy and a choice band. So, not Jonathan isn't out of it yet, uh, but he he needs to find those cards to get a knockout this turn. He has the choice band in hand. He needs to find a basic energy though. He did get rare candy metagross, so that was one piece of the puzzle. If Jonathan is unable to knock out this Ultra Necrozma, it will be pretty difficult for him to win the game at this point. Yeah. Um, in addition, he has to kind of be cognizant of that Dawn Wings on the bench. Mm -hmm. um, if he takes the knockout here, he'll be ahead on prizes, which triggers um, Moon's Eclipse GX. So, you know, every turn that Jonathan has kind of taken a knockout and set himself up, he was doing it with the hopes that Vinny didn't have the, the perfect response. Ooh. Um, I like this play from Jonathan here. Guzma, he retreats into the Metagross, then plays Guzma. He's going to use double Geotech system we and go. take a knockout here on this Malamar. Off of B-String turn, Vinny is going to have a lot harder time getting a bunch of energies on this Ultra Necrozma. Yeah, definitely. And now Jonathan is kind of back in the driver's seat because now he only needs to take a knockout. And he has a choice spin, so he can knock out a Lele or that um, or the, the Dawn Wings or even the Ultra Necrozma. Mm -hmm. So... Very smart play from Jonathan. Uh, I guess maybe he was planning that the whole time. Yeah, it works out perfectly for him. Two prizes apiece. That Moon's Eclipse GX is no longer on the table for Vinny uh, because he is not behind on prizes. And, I don't, yeah, I don't think Vinny has a way to... Uh, if he, he could get a Psychic Energy from hand plus a Psychic Recharge and a Guzma on the Tapu Lele, that would be enough to get him the game. Um, but it, it, he hasn't played it out yet, so I don't think he quite has it. He also, I don't know how many energy he has left. He did only B-String for one metal uh, last turn, so maybe he's he's saving the Psychics for a turn like that, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Recharge. We'll see what he does. See where he wants to attach here. He's debating. Looks like it's going to be the Ultra Necrozma. He does have a Psychic Energy in his hand. If he has the Guzma, he can win the game here, but I don't think I saw it. Even an Ultra Ball or a Treasure could find his third Lele if it's in the deck. I think he would have played it by now if he yeah. had it. Um, he's kind of sitting there thinking, but maybe he's just making sure he has it. Um, Cynthia. Plays Cynthia. So. so no Guzma this turn. And interesting he went ahead and committed his Psychic Recharge to the Ultra Necrozma before playing Cynthia. I mean, you never know if the six cards you get off Cynthia could change your mind about where you want to put your energy. And you can always Psychic Recharge, but Definitely. probably not going to make a difference here. He has a Lele. I think there is a regular Guzma in there as well. Um, I think I saw a Golden Choice Band. Um, we haven't seen that. Um, I'm not sure what the value on that card is. <laughs> Definitely a lot. Um, and this is going to be a big turn. I think Jonathan is going to need to honestly win the game this turn. I think if he doesn't win this turn, then he should be able to find what he needs to take 
his last prize. Ooh, but this is actually also interesting from Vinny. Because he's taking the knockout here on Delmize with this Ultra Necrozma, Jonathan needs to find his last rescue stretcher in order to bring it back in order to get a knockout on this uh, this Ultra Necrozma. So now Jonathan draws Candy. Not a card you can play. Really what he wants to do is find cards you can play um, to get him in range to start drawing with Orangaroo's Instructability. Mm -hmm. He... He's thinking about a choice man to the active, but if he does that in Guzmas, he loses that effect, so yeah, maybe I don't not. see an energy in his hand. I'm not sure what his supporter options are this turn. Looks like he has a Lele, so he could get whatever he wants out of the deck, but with only two Geotech systems available to him, Guzma can't win him the game. There are energy cards in there. Looks like he's, he's eyeing, eyeing it. Guzma. If he has an energy in hand, he does win because he'll he'll be able to pull up a Lele or a Dawnwing's Necrozma and knock it out um, by just doing 180. So, but I don't see the metal energy in his hand. Um, yeah, I don't think he has it. So he's he has to accept here. Okay, looks like I'm not going to be able to win this turn. What can I do to give myself the highest chance of buying another turn? Right. So maybe something, he does play Judge in his deck. He could try to Judge Vinny this turn. Could try to Guzma stall something. It looks does like, up for the Judge. Yeah, Guzma stall actually won't work because he does have that invasion and the Alter of the Moon in play, but. Um, choice choice band. with a Choice Band. Interesting play here. You know, I, don't, I didn't see if a Stretcher was still in the deck, but if it was, you know, maybe you go for Cynthia here and try and win, but I guess. He could have. He's played a decent amount of Cynthia's. He does only play three in his deck. So, uh, off these four cards, though, if Jonathan does find an energy plus that last rescue stretcher, he could win the game here in game two. I don't think I see those two cards, though. However, he with a lower hand size, he does have the ability to mm. uh, get into a Rangaroo range. I think I see an Ultra Ball. Yeah. So he might be able to get a fresh three. Um, yeah, it looks like he does use Ultra Ball here. Can get a Beldum out or just anything out of the deck and. Can instruct for at least two cards, maybe three if that last card is playable. Ooh, looks like he is actually eyeing up Duskbane Necrozma. Gonna opt to take nothing, though. So now if I'm Jonathan, the only card I want to see is Rescue Stretcher. Um, he's thinking, is that an energy in his hand? That's no, a it's choice a choice band. band. So now he needs Instructs to get energy, three. Stretcher. Don't see it. Not quite. But... So at this point, what do you do as Jonathan? I think you have to Geotech System twice to the active and just pass here. It feels real bad, but at least it'll be pretty difficult for Vinny to... It, Vinny doesn't have a way to win the game on the Metagross this turn. He would need a Psychic Energy plus a Recharge plus a Guzma on a Lele. So right. Metagross is not in danger of being knocked out. Well, actually, Vinny's only at one prize, so if he just oh, gets yeah. an Energy and a Guzma, he can knock out the Oranguru with the Dawn Wings. Um, with Don Wing's regular attack, yeah. uh, Dark Flash, I believe so, um, and uh, and that'll take the game. But you know, Vinny has gone through so many Psychic Energy. He does only run eight. Um, he has he has Beast Energy, however, um, which yeah. does act as a Rainbow Energy for Beast uh, Ultra Beast Pokemon. Looks like we'll just see a Choice Bands to the active. What else does he have in his hand? I see that Tate and Liza in his hand. Maybe he wants to use that for its first effect, shuffle and draw five, if he doesn't have any cards he likes in his hands. Could also use the switch effect, potentially. It looks like he's just debating what he wants to do here. We're going to see an invasion. Can't leave that Dawn Wings in the active, though, because then Jonathan just geotechs one more time and wins the game. You know, I'm not really sure... With this invasion, I, I probably would have just waited until you make a supporter play. Um, he may want to just like hold his supporter for the turn. Like I'm, I'm not sure. Um, he maybe has something like a Guzma. Maybe wants to bring up a Ranguru and hit it. It does have two retreats, so it, Jonathan would still need an energy from hand. Looks like he is going to play a Guzma. Oh, but Jonathan here could actually Geotech System a Psychic to give a Rangaroo free retreat and then still have access to another Geotech System to get the energy he needs on Metagross. Yeah, so he's going to just do 100. 100. Here's where Max Potion will come into play for Jonathan, of course. Heal off that tanky Rangaroo. Yeah. 
So he does have an energy that he drew for the turn. Can he play his hand down? He needs that rescue stretcher here if he wants to get the knockout. Uh, maybe, ooh, he has Nest Ball here. Could get out something like Duskmane. He is behind on prizes, but he did already use his GX attack this game, so he would need four energies in order to attack with Duskmane. So he's just going to fail that Nest Ball. Um, Attaches to the Metagross. Um, he, he has to play it hand. down. He's going for Guzma, I think. Doesn't hit it, um, but he has a max potion, so, you know, that's fine to, um... He can get that one more turn. Um, but we... We have to see, see what happens here. So it looks like he did max potion, get rid of the damage on a Ranguru, and is able to bring up that Metagross. Gonna hit for 180 here, 10 damage left on that Ultra Necrozma. Kind of in that awkward stage of the game where both players are kind of limping along to try and just find that last piece uh, to, to score the win. Both players look like they're kind of running out of gas here. Yeah, um, it, it's actually really good that Jonathan, you know, it might seem kind of silly to use a max potion on Edward Rangaroo with 100 damage on it, but uh, Vinny does have Guzman in his hand, so if he had not done that, uh, Vinny could have won the game here. So it ends up being a, a smart play from Jonathan, taking that win condition from Vinny off the board. Now, if I'm Vinny, you know, that's that's one Guzma down, um, and now he's kind of back in the same position. Um, you know, he had to he had to know that Jonathan had a way to retreat the Arangaru um, with the Ultra Moon, with the Psychic Energy, with Geotech System. So, um, you know, he's kind of, he does have, I believe, a Shining Lugia in his hand, uh, which is a non- mm -hmm. That GX Pokemon, a, yeah, so he yeah. could buy another turn. It does need three energy to attack, however, and with only one Malamar in play, I, he wouldn't be able to power it up necessarily right away. Well, he could just put it in the yeah, active. Yeah, yeah, fair. Because um, John is at two prizes, um, and just buy him a turn to use Psychic Recharge still. Um, you know, Jonathan now needs to find a Guzma to reset his Metagross. Um, the effect of Giga Hammer is that Metagross cannot attack next turn, so... Tate and Liza here. Tate and Liza. Gonna shuffle and draw five. We saw him use it for that second effect in the first game, and now here in the second game, using it for that shuffle draw five effect. Just giving him another supporter option. And we'll see off these five cards. What does he find here? So if I'm... If I'm... Jonathan, um... You know, I guess I'm... It looks like he is going to do what you were kind of saying. Not with the Lugia, but he's going to send up the Malamar. And uh, it looks like he might just have to pass for a turn. No, I don't know if giving up this Malamar is, is what you want to do. Oh, there's oh, the Guzma. Context, Guzma. Dude uses Geotech System, is able to retreat the Lele or a Rangaroo, and uh, is able to take the winning knockout there. So we're going to a Game 3 here. Looks like we just have 10 minutes remaining in the round. That was a real grindy game. Yeah. Um, you know, both players kind of raced out to a quick set of prizes and then just kind of hit the brakes. Uh, yeah. Couldn't find a way to take those last couple of prizes, but, um, you know, that was a much better game for Jonathan. But now he's going second, um, which means that Vinny, you know, already kind of a faster deck, will, will have another turn to start taking prizes. Yeah, it's really difficult, I think, for the Metagross tech to play three full games in 50 minutes, right? It's a much slower stage two deck. Vinny's deck, however, like you said, can be more aggressive if it needs to. And if I'm Vinny here, I'm just going to be playing as quickly as possible and try to rush knockouts as fast as I can. Um, and we'll just have to see what he wants to do from there. Yeah, Dawn Wings, uh, kind of going along that line of thought, mm -hmm. um, Dawn Wings will be really useful um, in knocking out Beldums. It's a very efficient attack. It just does a flat 120 damage. Um, so he can maybe steal some chump prizes um, and then pick off big threats later. Does put Dawn Wings down. I think he kind of recognizes how useful it'll be. Um, you know, scores a Psychic and a Beast String. Yeah, so we'll see here. Uh, what does he want to get with his <clears throat> first Ultra Ball. Let's 
So they're actually, we've just been informed they are um, actually in turns here. Vinny is going to be turn one of time. Um, so, I mean, he could definitely win on turn three if Jonathan has no other basic Pokemon. He needs, you know, an energy attachment this turn, energy attachment next turn, and a psychic recharge. He can use Dark Flash. So, going to be really big here for Jonathan if he can find another uh, Pokemon to put down. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and Jonathan, if I'm Jonathan, all I want to do is just put basic Pokemon into play. Yep. Um, just deny Vinny the ability to win the game um, and, uh, and walk away from this one with a tie. Yeah. Um, you know, every time Vinny thinks about taking the energy, he kind of bends them a little bit. <laughs> um, these energy are way too valuable for that sort of thing. So he's actually going to attach to the active, which, I mean, I guess if you're going for the win next turn regardless, like if it doesn't matter for anything else... Um, you know, you can... Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a basic coming down. So, yeah, he, he has the option to just t take a knockout on Beldum, and looks like we are just going to see a tie here from these players. Jonathan doesn't even use Wonder Tag. Doesn't <laughs> care. Yeah. Um, he knows this is going to be a tie at this point. Vinny opts to draw blood anyway, and they do tie. Yep, so unfortunate way to end round one here in the Oaks, uh, Pennsylvania, for the first regions of the season is a tie, but... To a great game from both players. Game two was definitely a